I was diagnosed with stage 1A melanoma cancer a few months ago at the age of 21. And even before my diagnosis, uh, there was a small black dot here, black mole. I started to feel itching sensations and it started to bleed at one point and I was like, okay, this is not the normal behavior of a mole. I need to go get this checked out. And so I uh, set up an appointment with my dermatologist and she does a biopsy, skin biopsy. And uh, she took a biopsy of this mole here and then I had another uh, abnormal mole on my upper thigh. And uh, the procedure is that they, they first they numb up the area with uh, lidocaine needles. And honestly, it, it hurt really bad. And I cursed the doctor and but then after that, I didn't feel anything, and then they just uh, literally shaved off my skin, and it looked it looked terrible. But um, about a few weeks after the biopsy, my results came back, and the one on my um, upper thigh came back negative, but the one on my uh, upper arm here came back positive for stage one A melanoma, and my doctor told me that there is no chemo radiation involved, nothing like that. I just had to come in and just get the whole entire skin removed. And I was like, okay, I, I need this killer machine out of me, this tumor. And so we set up appointment the week after that. And I took that week to really just like reflect on, um, you know, being diagnosed with cancer at this age. And, you know, you would never really think that you know, a young person just getting cancer, I don't know. You know, it was just a really scary feeling. Although my um, tumor was not uh, terminal, I caught it at an extremely early stage and I'm just really, really grateful to God. I'm very blessed to have him in my life and I just know that I have him to thank for um, working his miracle on me. Um, I volunteered at a hospital one time and I also job shadowed a nurse and there are a lot of kids who are terminally ill who are worse off than me and it just really puts things into perspective that wow you know I could have I could be going through much worse but I'm just really lucky that I'm not terminally ill I don't have a a terminal disease that's that there's no cure for and so when you only have one life to live and you're at this age you don't really think about your life that you could die um, so you know g getting diagnosed with cancer I do not take this life for granted that's what's really uh, hit home for me I don't want to take this life for granted. I want to milk this life for all that it's worth before I die or when I die. And so I'm so blessed to have people who love me for who I am despite my shortcomings. Although it was really scary, it's a part of my life and I know that there's a chance that this cancer could come back in my life. I just have to be vigilant and make sure that I check my skin. So I go in for the surgery a week after my diagnosis and she took margins around the mole and then she took triangles on both sides of healthy skin so that when they close it shut, um, it, it will match up essentially <laughs> when you close it up. And so, uh, you know, for a little dot, they took out a lot of skin. Um, they take out extra skin, healthy skin, to make sure that the tumor hasn't spread anywhere. I was on the operating table and I was awake for the entire process and the nurse comes over and she has like a handful of needles and she proceeds to like just, at first it's just pain and then I, I, then after that, I don't feel it. Um, but she was like, wow, I've never put this much needles into a patient before. 
I was just like, oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ, help me. <laughs> and um, so once they numb me up, uh, my dermatologist, I could I didn't feel anything. Um, but the worst thing was the tugging and the pulling. I could feel that. I could feel the tugging and the pulling of the skin when she would show it, sew it shut. And the whole uh, procedure and the whole surgery took about 30 to 45 minutes. When the nurse would um, blot the blood um, on my skin, I could feel that. That was the most weirdest sensation ever because you feel the, the pressure and the blotting, but you don't feel any pain. And it's the weirdest sensation. It's the same thing with the tugging and the pulling. You don't feel any pain, but you feel, feel the tugging. It's just so uncomfortable. But I got through it, and the pain looks worse than it actually felt because... Um, so the doctor, she stitched at least um, 50 d dissolvable stitches inside and then the top stitches were had to be removed a week later. As far as taking care of the wound, at least afterward, I, I ended up going to my math class, my calculus class, and it was an accelerated summer class and I really did not want to miss it. So here I am, I'm going to class and my arm is all numb and it's just a big wrap and I can't even feel this entire region of my arm at all. And it was, I, I thought I could take notes. No, <laughs> I, I, I got up and left class. There was no way I could do that. Um, the next couple of days after the surgery, um, I had to get my mom to help me because the mole, it was in the back of my arm here. So it's like, it's really hard to access it. And uh, they give you instructions on how to care for the wound. Um, you have to wash it gently with soap and water and then put Vaseline and then put gauze and then tape around it. And then you got to wrap it. And so... Uh, I did that every day, and um, about a week or two weeks later, I think, I had to go in and get my stitches removed, and it was painless. There was no pain involved, um, but I have a really awesome scar to prove it, and the scar, see, it was just a small dot, so it they took out a big chunk of my of skin, off my arm and this is the scar after about three four months I have to go see a dermatologist every three months after the surgery um, for the next year because there is a high chance that the cancer and the tumor could come back somewhere on my body um, reoccurring as um, a new mole or evolving mole around my my body and so after a year I have to go see my dermatologist every six months after that. So um, there's a risk that it could um, come back. The tumor can come back somewhere around my body. But since I caught it really early, I pray to God that it does not come back. And so um, I also got another biopsy. I had another suspicious mole here. And the skin here on your palm is really tough. The epidermis, this hurt way more when they removed this. When they injected me uh, with the lidocaine, it hurt really, really bad. The pain receptors here, because your skin is so thick in the epidermis, it hurt extremely bad. Um, but I got through it and um, it looked like my skin just got shaved off. It looked, the dermis here is really different from the other skin, parts of your skin. And so, uh, the heal watching the healing process was amazing and just you know after a few hours you could see the change and the wound process healing how the stages in just a couple of hours you could see it change and it starts to form and it's simply amazing um, it, it the skin essentially regenerated itself it's like it never even happened and it was like a dark mole few weeks after my biopsy there, it, it came back negative, thank God. And I also had another one on my back and that came back negative as well. So 
I'm very grateful that I'm alive. Praise the Lord.